The ocean surface sparkles under sunlight, waves rolling endlessly toward distant horizons. But beneath this familiar world lies something extraordinary, a realm so alien, so impossibly remote, that we've explored more of the surface of Mars than we have of these crushing depths. Today, we're diving into the ultimate frontier on our own planet, a place where the very concept of life gets redefined. Picture this. You're standing at sea level, looking out across the water. Now imagine dropping straight down through that blue expanse, past coral reefs, past the last traces of sunlight, past the deepest swimming whales, past layers of water so cold and dark, they seem like liquid space itself. Keep falling for nearly seven miles, and you'll finally reach the most mysterious place on Earth. Welcome to Challenger Deep, the deepest known point in our oceans and quite possibly the most extreme environment where life still manages to exist. This isn't just another nature documentary about pretty fish swimming around coral reefs. What we're about to explore challenges everything we thought we knew about the limits of life itself. The pressure down there is crushing, literally over a thousand times greater than what you're experiencing right now. The temperature hovers just above freezing. There's no sunlight, no photosynthesis, no familiar food chains. It's a world of perpetual midnight where the rules of biology get completely rewritten. For decades, scientists assumed this place was a barren wasteland, a lifeless void at the bottom of the world. They called it a biological desert, convinced that nothing could possibly survive in such hostile conditions. They were spectacularly wrong. What they discovered instead was a thriving ecosystem unlike anything found anywhere else on our planet. Creatures that seem designed by alien intelligence, organisms that feed on chemicals seeping from the Earth's core. Life forms so bizarre and adapted to extremes that studying them is rewriting textbooks and forcing us to reconsider what's possible in the universe. The story of how we even found this place reads like science fiction. It began in the 19th century when explorers first realized the ocean had depths beyond anything they'd imagined. Using primitive equipment, they cast weighted lines into the abyss and kept running out of rope. The deeper they measured, the more questions arose. What was down there? Could anything survive in such crushing darkness? For over a century, Challenger Deep remained untouchable, a mystery wrapped in seven miles of crushing water the technology simply didn't exist to reach it, let alone explore it safely. The pressure alone would instantly crush any human body, turning bones to powder and organs to liquid. Even our strongest submarines would collapse like empty soda cans under the immense weight of the water column above. But human curiosity has a way of overcoming impossible obstacles. In 1960, two incredibly brave explorers squeezed themselves into a tiny metal sphere and began the most dangerous descent in human history. Their vessel was essentially a floating pressure cooker, designed to protect them from forces that could kill them in microseconds. The five-hour journey down was fraught with terror. Warning lights flashed as their viewing window began to crack under the pressure. Every creak of metal around them could have been their last sound. When they finally touched down on the seafloor of Challenger Deep, they had only 20 minutes to make observations before the risk became too great. What they saw in those precious few minutes changed everything. Through their cracked porthole, they witnessed something that shouldn't have been possible. Movement, life, creatures thriving in conditions that should have been instantly fatal to any living thing. Pale, ghostly shapes drifted through their lights. Strange formations covered the sea floor like alien landscapes. In that moment, they realized they weren't just exploring the deepest part of Earth's oceans. They were discovering an entirely different form of life, one that had evolved in complete isolation for millions of years. Since that first historic dive, only a handful of humans have ever seen Challenger Deep with their own eyes. Each expedition has revealed new mysteries, new life forms that challenge our understanding of biology itself. The creatures living down there have developed survival strategies so extreme they sound like science fiction. But the real story isn't just about what lives in Challenger Deep. It's about how life finds a way to exist 
in the most impossible places imaginable. Some organisms down there have abandoned the basic rules of life as we know it. In a world without sunlight, the foundation of almost every ecosystem on Earth, photosynthesis, becomes completely useless. So these deep sea inhabitants have invented something entirely different. They've learned to harvest energy from the Earth itself, feeding on toxic chemicals that would kill surface creatures instantly. Picture bacteria that thrive on hydrogen sulfide, a gas so poisonous it can drop a human in seconds. Down in Challenger Deep, these microorganisms don't just tolerate this deadly compound, they depend on it for survival. They've essentially figured out how to eat poison and turn it into life-sustaining energy. It's like discovering aliens in our own backyard. But the bacteria are just the beginning. The larger creatures that call this abyss home have evolved adaptations so extreme they seem impossible. Take the amphipods, tiny shrimp-like creatures that somehow manage to maintain their shells in water so corrosive it dissolves calcium carbonate on contact. They've developed internal chemistry labs, extracting aluminum from the mud around them and incorporating it into their exoskeletons like living armor. Then there are the sea cucumbers, bizarre slug-like animals that lumber across the seafloor like alien livestock. Some species have evolved transparent bodies, their internal organs visible through translucent skin. Others have developed feeding tentacles that work like underwater vacuum cleaners, methodically sifting through the sediment for any trace of organic matter that drifts down from the world above. The most alien residents might be the xenophyophoras, single-celled organisms that grow to massive proportions, sometimes reaching the size of dinner plates. These aren't colonies of cells working together. Each one is literally a single living entity that somehow managed to become gigantic while remaining fundamentally simple. They're like biological contradictions, challenging everything we thought we knew about cellular limitations. What's truly remarkable is how this entire ecosystem functions as a closed loop of survival. Nothing gets wasted. Every scrap of organic matter that somehow makes its way down from the surface becomes precious currency in this economy of scarcity. Dead organisms get recycled through multiple levels of consumption until every molecule of energy has been extracted and reused. The food web down there operates on patience and efficiency that's almost supernatural. Some creatures might wait months for a single meal to drift down from above. When a dead whale occasionally sinks to these depths, it becomes like winning the lottery a massive influx of resources that can sustain entire communities for years. Scientists studying these organisms have discovered something that's revolutionizing our understanding of life's possibilities. The genetic adaptations these creatures have developed aren't just impressive, they're providing blueprints for biotechnology applications we never imagined. Enzymes that function under crushing pressure, proteins that remain stable in extreme cold, biological processes that extract energy from seemingly impossible sources. Some researchers believe studying Challenger Deep organisms could help us understand how life might exist on other planets with extreme conditions. If life can thrive in the crushing darkness of our deepest ocean, what might be possible in the subsurface oceans of Jupiter's moons or in the frozen depths of Mars? But perhaps the most mind-bending discovery is how quickly this ecosystem can change and adapt. Recent expeditions have found evidence that the community structure in Challenger Deep shifts and evolves much faster than anyone predicted. New species appear to emerge and establish themselves within relatively short time frames, suggesting that evolution in extreme environments might operate under completely different rules than what we observe in surface ecosystems. The technology required to study these creatures continues to push the boundaries of human engineering. Every camera, every sampling device, every piece of equipment must be designed to withstand pressures that would instantly destroy conventional technology. It's like building spacecraft to explore an alien world that happens to exist on our own planet. Looking up from the crushing depths of Challenger Deep to the sunlit surface far above, we're reminded that our own planet still holds secrets that dwarf anything we might find among the stars. This hidden world, just seven miles beneath our feet, has shown us that life doesn't just find a way to survive in impossible conditions, it finds ways to thrive, to innovate, to become something entirely new. 
Every creature we've discovered in this alien realm forces us to expand our definition of what's possible. From bacteria that feast on poison, to giants built from single cells, from living armor forged from aluminum to transparent bodies navigating eternal darkness, Challenger Deep isn't just the deepest place on Earth. It's proof that the boundaries of life extend far beyond anything we dared imagine. Yet we've barely scratched the surface of this underwater universe. With each expedition, each glimpse through reinforced portholes and robotic cameras, we uncover new mysteries that challenge everything we thought we knew. The real question isn't what else lives down there, it's what these extraordinary adaptations might teach us about life's potential throughout the cosmos. The next time you look out across the ocean's surface, remember that beneath those familiar waves lies a world more alien than Mars, more mysterious than the deep reaches of space, and more alive than we ever believed possible. Challenger Deep reminds us that sometimes the most incredible discoveries aren't light years away. They're right here, waiting in the depths of our own blue planet.